Welcome to tutorial number three for the Speech Essentials Android app. In this tutorial, we'll talk a little more about the sound menu and how to use the sentence practice features. On the sound menu, you will notice that the sounds are grouped into three colors. They are grouped in this way to designate the order in which children typically develop the ability to accurately produce the sound. The blue sounds typically develop first, followed by the yellow, and finally on the right, the red sounds. If you're unfamiliar with the ZH sound on the far right, it is the ZH sound, typically used in words like garage or corsage. To practice articulation within sentences, you will start by selecting the sound you wish to target from the main sound menu. There are two options for sentence practice. The first is sentence flashcards. The sentence flashcards are similar to the word flashcards in that you can select whether you want to practice your target sound in the beginning, the middle, or the end of the word. You can also choose to create a sentence list that is composed of a combination of these positions. Once the positions have been selected, press Start. The flashcard deck will load a set of sentence cards composed of the sound and position lists you have selected. Each card has the sentence, the sound and position list it came from, for example, B beginning, and a picture of the target word in the sentence. Tapping the picture will play an audible example of correct sentence pronunciation. You can move to the next flashcard by swiping down on the card with your finger. To the left of the flashcard is the scoring buttons and score. To the right are additional settings and the mirror function button. The function of these buttons is the same as when doing word flashcards. For more details on how that functionality works, please see the Speech Essentials tutorial number two. Once you have swiped through all of the cards in the flashcard deck, a final celebration card will appear with our friendly robot saying good job, and a celebration sound will play. You have the option at this point to play again by pressing yes or no. You can also end the session at any time by pressing the square done button in the top right hand corner of the screen. You will be prompted to save the scores for your session if you use the scoring buttons during your practice. Instructions on how to save and manage scores was covered in tutorial number two. The second sentence practice type is called sentences word swap on the sound menu. It functions in much the same way as the sentence flashcards, except within each sentence is a target word that will change when the small arrow is pressed. When any part of the sentence is pressed, Speech Essentials will play an audible example of correct sentence pronunciation. You can also play audio for just the target words by tapping the individual pictures. Oftentimes, the sentences created will not make sense, and this is by design. You'll find that kids often find the nonsense sentences amusing. This should be part of the fun of practicing using this function. Once all the variations of the sentence are completed, once again the good job card appears with the ability to play again or return to the main menu. This concludes tutorial number three. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like more details on individual sounds, such as when they should be mastered, how to teach correct mouth positioning, and how to have fun practicing individual sounds, Please check out the Speech Essentials YouTube channel where we are posting a series of videos created by a professional speech therapist that talk about each individual sound and how to do these things. If you have any questions or issues with the Speech Essentials app or have suggestions on what we can do to make it even better, please feel free to drop us a line at speechessentials at gmail.com. Thanks!